Hey Aquarius, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 26th of December 2022. Of course, we'll start with Monday, the 26th of December. And there is chariot for you. Tuesday, justice. Ace of cups. Wednesday, Five of Cups, Thursday, Ten of Swords, Friday, Ten of Wands, Saturday, and The Lovers, Sunday. First of Jan is good for everybody. Very nice, I really like it. Anyway, um, I noticed um, Capricorn did have these two. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Thursday, something like that. But very similar combinations here for you and um, Capricorn. Anyway, Aquarius, now Monday, the Chariot with Ten of Pentacles. Now Justice, Tuesday, with Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups. Wednesday, with the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups. Thursday with Eight of Rolls, Ten of Swords, Friday with Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, Saturday with Seven of Pentacles, The Lovers with the Tower, okay, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, look there was decision, this is your influencing energy, something from last week perhaps, there was decision, there was clarity, how you're going to get yourself out of this situation, okay? This is very unfavorable situation. This energy of Five of Pentacles talks about something ill, okay? Either that you felt ill yourself and then you have idea how you're going to fix it, okay? Or uh, there was financial problem, there was um, issue with people around you, you did have some sort of issue, some sort of problems, something was a lacking there, you felt very poor, and uh, Ace of Swords is a clear thought, clear idea, truthful idea, clarity about how you're going to get yourself out of here, okay? Whatever that your problem was, you do have idea, you know how. This is knowing. Now, lovely chariot, okay, just confirms that what I told you. Now, you are ready. Now, since you know exactly what you're supposed to do to get yourself to better place, now you are ready. You are standing in front of this starting line, ready to move forward. This is just, you know, I know it all, okay, I am ready for it. Just to, you know, apply yourself and you will get it. You'll have your goal. You will be the winner. The chariot is the winner. Okay, competitor, well-trained competitor, you see what I'm saying, eagerly waiting to begin this new race, to win yet another trophy, in that sense, you know, that pride, feeling of pride, um, of competitiveness, or so, expecting, okay, some big rewards, Ten of Pentacles is your expectations, okay, that something will be 100% for you, you will make something valuable now, you will solve these financial problems now, you will be living in abundance. That's your expectations. A Ten of Pentacles is something very valuable. We can talk finances, we can talk property, we can talk family, whatever that is of a big, long-lasting value, okay, for you. In that sense, you are ready to go after it, to make that big value in your life, something which will stabilize your life, something which will stay in your life. Massive income, okay? Massive income you are expecting, you are making for yourself, or you are completing something in your life. Bear in mind, we have three tens this week, okay? So you, some completion you are after, something is completing here, and you are ready, in fact, you are working on it. You want to complete it, you want to finish with that, because now that will now be a starting point for something very lucrative, that, that will stabilize your business. You are ready for it in that sense. There's no movement here, okay, but readiness stands. So you've got it all here, you can just apply yourself and make it and get it. In that sense, your Monday 
in this decision, okay, perhaps something, I don't know, maybe legal came on this day, okay, or maybe official, something which you have to do or you are waiting for it. In that sense, lawyers, court case, um, as I said, something official, maybe documentations, maybe license, approvals, um, you were maybe also making decision and you were not willing to, you are scared to make decision. You see what I'm saying? This is your nightmare. I don't know, I kind of feel something official. You have to go maybe to home office, to wait in the queue, to get this license, to get these approvals. You see what I'm saying? Something out there which is legal and official scares you, you don't like it, it's your nightmare, but you have to attend it. This is very important for you out there. This legal thing, this official thing, you have to deal with here on a Tuesday. You are not keen on it, but you have to. Now, there is Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune, some change, change within you, okay? Um, about your, I don't know, vision about your life, you were expecting some, something happier, you want something happier. As I said, very similar energies I see here as Capricorns. Now, Ace of Cups could be love affair, could be offer of love. Maybe you do have somebody who is Capricorn offering love, offering friendship, offering something to you. And you will make decision, you will go for it, you will feel that your life is changing because of this offer. You see what I'm saying? your life will change, you will change. Something is going for the better, for the much better, for the much happier from now on, from this point on. Whether that we are talking love relationship which is possible now for you, okay, or it is about your career, it is about your business, it is about your wealth, it doesn't matter. Could be all of it in fact, okay, that you want to change your life, you want to make happier life, you would love to have I don't know, better financial situation, you are working on it and you know how to fix it. Now there is love offered at the very same time. You see what I'm saying? Possibility to change your life, to make it a different, to make it happier, to make it much happier. Ace of Cups is offer of love, happiness, in that sense, lovely. You were seeing possibility to change your life in that direction, just to make it happier. That's it. With whatever, whether that we are talking finances or career or another person, it doesn't matter, could be all of it. You want it happier. Now, on Thursday, five of uh, um, cups is about your past, some failures in your past. It, it comes um, very strongly here on this day. Um, and I, I think you wanna fix it, you wanna talk about it. This is conversation about something which happened earlier, something regrettable, something offensive, somebody did hurt you, okay, earlier on. Maybe we were talking about a rekindling relationship from earlier on, and this is you people talking about it. You will bring up whether that is relationship or something, you know, whatever, from your past, okay? Five of uh, Cups always refers, okay, to something from your past, some difficulties, some failures, some wounds. You see what I'm saying? Referring to it and talking about it. You want to clarify it. You want to talk about it. You want to communicate. And on this day, I really believe you will be forcing the issue Let's talk about what happened, what did you say, what have you done. You see what I'm saying, what has happened. You see what I'm saying, that, that what offended you, you will want to talk about that. Let's talk, in that sense. Um, eight of a wands um, might indicate telephone call, okay, that you are communicating over your telephone, the messagings, emails, you see what I'm saying, things in the air, uh, rather than the personal conversation, this is more in the air, telephone, emails, or so, <clears throat> your Thursday, now your Friday, okay, ten of swords, <laughs> Three of Swords, I mean, some sort of relationship, some sort of troubles, some, I don't know, something which defeated you. This this is you being down, okay? Something brought you down. And you kind of, you feel like you cannot lift yourself up out of this sadness, burden, trouble. You see what I'm saying? Offense. Um, something really hurt you badly here. And you were feeling it on this day. Surely with Ten of Swords, we always say, there is a new day coming, 
you know, for you. Brighter days are coming for you, but you just cannot see it on this day. You are so down, you know, bottom low down, you cannot even see that something better is on your way. It won't last long. This is one day thing. I'm telling you, uh, even though some troubles were accumulating with the time, okay, dating maybe from a long time ago, now this culminates here on Friday, but it's just a day when you will feel that pain, you know, somebody caused you in the past and you will soon, soon, probably by the end of the day you will overgrow it or maybe on the very next day because there is 10 of wands, another 10. This is third 10 okay in this week for you surely you are getting over something something i really believe something from your past okay this 10 indicates something new you are after something better something long-standing something lucrative for you something valuable for you you see what i'm saying you begin to create you begin to make now these other tens, I really believe they are referring to something in your past, something which happened already. You were bringing it up here on Thursday and you will solve this problem once for all. You'll feel pain, okay? You'll bring it up, you'll talk about it. Everything will be in the air to be talked about and you will feel hurt. All that pain somebody caused you earlier on, you will feel it on this day, but it's there just for the day. You will wave it goodbye, it will go way big burden will fall off your shoulders because of that because you talked about it you relieved this situation difficult situation from your past you needed it for some reason and now it's over big burden big burden will fall off your shoulders you will feel kind of you needed to explain some sort of situation or you needed somebody to explain themselves but there was a needed explanation communications about communication about something from your past something hurtful and it's done okay it wasn't easy it was hurtful or hard but it's done and as i said a big uh, burden will fall off your shoulders you'll begin to feel much better definitely perhaps even from the very next day breakthrough you do have here but anyway let me go through this saturday first with a seven of pentacles you you've done everything what you needed to do to start your new life okay to break down with that what was outstanding something which was i don't know elephant in the room needed to be dealt with you see what i'm saying everything is dealt with is finished is done nothing else to add to it from this point you can just grow different you can develop in a different way you did already sow some seeds okay for your future for something which you will begin just from the very next day, from the very next year, you are ready to begin anew, to invest yourself, you know, in something else. That's your Saturday readiness to invest yourself with something else. But most important on this day that you will um, feel relieved of this burden which you carried perhaps for some time. Now that's 1st of January 2023, it's a Sunday and I really feel that you do have your breakthrough here. Now this pain, these problems, this conversation, this turbulent moment, painful moment, okay, you've been through, now is transformed into pleasure. You see what I'm saying? On this day you will be happy that you've been through this, that you don't have it in your life anymore, that you don't have within you anymore that was something within you okay something was standing okay painfully bugging you all the time you were carrying this heavy heavy load with something offensive something that has been something regrettable something which offended you which hurt you so bad okay you were carrying it you were carrying it within yourself for too long far too long now on this day you will feel that that is breaking down that is going away and transforms into pleasure you see what i'm saying you will feel relieved of this 
pain of this trouble which you carried within yourself. Big tower, huge, massive, obstructive thing was standing within you all the time. That is going away and immediately you feel that things, the world is opening for you. New life is in front of you. There could be love. There could be opening for your happiness, for your success, for your business, for your whatever. You see what I'm saying? For whatever. Things are opening now for you. Now you can think with the love, with passion. You can expect something much, much better for yourself since you don't have this anymore in yourself. You don't feel this pain anymore. It begins to disintegrate, to dissipate, and there is love that stays. Beautiful. I really love it. Aquarius, I wish you a happy new year and I really hope that you're going to enjoy your week. 